Hey, how's it going guys? John Santos and welcome to this channel where we help entrepreneurs start and grow their business ASAP. Now in today's video, what I'm going to cover is how to launch a WordPress website so you're able to set up your e-commerce platform and start selling online. So let's get started. So thanks for joining me on this video guys. Like I mentioned, my goal is to get this video out to you guys so you'll be able to know exactly what it takes to launch an e-commerce website through a platform like WordPress. Now in order for you to install WordPress, you're going to need a hosting package. A hosting package allows you to store all your files on the web. That way it could be accessible all over the world. I highly recommend that you guys Consider Bluehost as one of the hosting options out there. I personally use them for all my websites and honestly they have some great customer service, they have some great ratings, and they never let you down for the most part. They haven't let me down yet. So yeah, anyways, I highly recommend you guys consider them. You can use the links in my description. That way it allows me to continue helping entrepreneurs out there that are looking for this content. We'll get started by clicking on that link and then we'll jump right into it. All right, so as soon as you click on the link in the description, it's gonna take you to this main page. What this is, is this is your hosting package that we talked about and like I mentioned it has some great packages for startup so as you can see um, it has really easy one-click install 24 7 they have a money-back guarantee this is the beauty of it is that you have 30 days to decide if this is for you if it's not they give you your money no gimmicks they literally they legitimately refund your money and they also give you over $150 in Google offers so you can migrate your old website uh, they can get you up and rolling if you don't want to do any of those features but if you're just starting out on your website then you're going to get right to this. It includes a free domain for $3.49 a month. It includes a free domain, free website builder, uh, one-click install, and 24-7 support. So you're going to choose your package, guys. If you're just starting out, you always have the option to upgrade a package. So for the most part, just figure out what you want to do. Once you click on that, they'll register you for your new domain, and you can just choose it, whatever you want it to be. It's a pretty robust site. You really look at it. It's a lot, but we're going to go right to the WordPress tools. Then you're going to choose the domain you want to register. So once you fill out this information here in the new install, it'll have a successful install here. So you just want to hit the refresh. Make sure you write down the names of whatever you of whatever information you created for this login. So then what we're going to do here is literally going to log into the WordPress site. So once you log in from your Bluehost, it'll take you to the WordPress dashboard, the dashboard that pretty much controls where your site, how your site looks and how it operates. Uh, so on the left here, you're going to have the home tab, updates, posts, media. This is where you're going to upload any imagery or any content that you want your site to have, the different pages. So if you want to create new pages for the purpose of this video, we're not going to buy a theme. This is the stock generic template that comes with it. It's very difficult to customize in my opinion if it's your first time. I wouldn't even try to bother with it. For the most part, your website is going to be hosted on WooCommerce. So it's going to be like if you guys choose any of the themes that are available directly through this, it may not integrate completely with it very nicely. So the best bet for you to have is to go directly to the site that you're going to be hosting your shopping through. So pretty much WordPress doesn't have its own shopping cart per se. It's an actual plugin called WooCommerce. Just head on over to their site and what you'll do is you'll be able to look at the themes available or you can also head on over to Envato and look at the different themes that you have available. So as you can see, these are a little bit pricey, 45. They're not too bad though. I mean, for the most part, if you find one that you really like the layout from and it matches the brand that you're trying to create, I'd say pay for it. It saves you time from having to actually code it and try to design it yourself. The other option is to go directly to the WooCommerce site. All right, once you go to that, just head on over to the themes and what it is is this is going to be the storefront theme. So this is going to give you exactly what it is you're looking for. Um, obviously, there's different options available. Some are paid, some are free. For the purpose of this one, we're going to go with the free one. To download it, you just got to hit add to cart. And then you come over to this side, continue. It's free, but for the most part, it's going to just allow you to confirm your information here. I already downloaded it, so um, just go through the process. You guys will get it here, all right? Once you download it, just go back to your actual WordPress dashboard. And then what you're going to do is you're going to upload a new a new theme to it. Top of the themes page, you're just going to hit upload. What this means is you're literally going to upload files that you have. All right. So we're going to do upload theme. All right, guys, go ahead and choose a file. Click on the zip, hit upload. As you can tell, you just uploaded your actual theme. So now if you click on over to the themes part, um, you'll see that this is your theme detail here. 
uh, you're going to want to activate it in order for it to become your store's actual site. Once you activate it, it's going to tell you that it comes with, uh, you're going to need the WooCommerce plugin. Download the WooCommerce toolkit and you're going to activate the plugin. So this is what's actually going to activate your e-commerce side. Now WooCommerce is essentially a plugin that allows you to have an e-commerce site on any WordPress theme. But more specifically, if a WordPress theme is designed for e-commerce, WooCommerce will plug right up into it and it will work hand on hand. Alright, it's important that your site is either set up for WooCommerce or you're going to come into a little bit of uh, custom customization you're going to need to do. Alright, so just always keep that in mind. Alright, so if you want to run through the actual setup here, the setup wizard will tell you exactly what each page means. So payments, WooCommerce can accept checkout with PayPal or checkout with Stripe. Click on those two. Honestly, both are great options. Stripe integrates directly to your website. PayPal has pay with PayPal option. So I recommend that you have both. Once you set up the WooCommerce dashboard, what's going to happen is going to take you right to the product page. Now with the product page, you're, it's going to allow you to set your product image. This is what people are going to see. So for instance, I'm going to use that. You just upload those. Um, I already have mine uploaded, so it's on there. It's recommended that you do a square. Um, that way it stays proportionate all around throughout the website. You try to keep it on a square base. Um, I'd recommend less than a megabyte, but some, some, some websites don't really matter because they downsize them yourself. But just go ahead and make sure that they're square with however you want them to look. Um, and then the product gallery images, which means anything on the inside that you want them to see, you'll add there. Your product's description is going to go here, so whatever it is that you want to talk about. A price point, 99. Um, any inventory, SKU numbers that you want it to talk about. If you wanted to manage stock uh, right directly on the website, you could tell it you know, how many products you have. Allow back orders, so do you want people to allow them but to notify them or let them know that they can buy it without it being available. The shipping, it'll, it'll let you know how much weight, so whether it's, just make sure you weigh your product. Link products, so if there's anything that you want to link to it. And just go through this uh, options here. There's a lot of different options available for you to really manage and take advantage of. And then once you're ready, once you fill out the information that you want it to show, go ahead and just put publish. All right, guys, so you're going to want to set up your settings for the actual plugin. All right, so whatever that is, maybe where are you based out of with city state? Um, where are you going to be selling? If it's all countries or, it's, or if you're not going to do international, let them know there. Shipping locations. Um, all of this information, make sure you fill it out in detail with however, with, with whatever you're planning on doing. Uh, when it comes to products, it also asks you some information about products. So what you're going to want to do is go on to the WooCommerce, set up your settings, make sure you set up the general, the products, the shipping, the checkout, the accounts, the emails, and anything related to actually processing your sales. Just make sure you get into them. Make sure you really spend some time and, and, and learning about all your different options and how it can save you some money as well. Or save the customer some money so that it helps them also check out. So for the purpose of this video, we're not going to set up those options because then it'll be another three hour video. And for the most part, once you set up the settings, you set up your orders, you can set up your coupons, you set up reports. Um, it really gives you all the options that you need to run an e-commerce website, WooCommerce does. And now if you're also looking for any sliders or anything, you're going to want to make sure you hit a um, Anything that you're looking for, whether it be sliders, whether it be banners, like whatever it is, you can you can look for them in the in the plugin section, um, and you can just hit add new. So, for instance, I uploaded a slider here, and uh, what this does is it allows us to add a slider to the home page. That's called responsive slider. You can upload your own images onto it, and then if you come onto the home page, as you can see, there's a slider here now. I'm starting to look like a shopping site. So, here we have the shop. I uh, remember I uploaded that one product. So you guys are able to see the product here. Um, I mean, it, it really gives you the ability to, to look through it, to really customize it. There is some work involved with it, guys. Just know that up front so you're able to plan for that and you're able to budget some time ahead of that. So here's the pages. This is the pages that are on the front of the site. So this is exactly what you see up at the front. You can see I made some private. Uh, you, can, you can edit these directly from here. And then there's the media that you're going to be using. In this media, you can literally upload your images that you want to use and then you could reference them so even if you want to embed them into something else this is a this is the url of where this is stored online so once again i highly recommend that you guys consider purchasing a paid theme a theme that's that's already built and it's uh functions a certain way and it has a certain aesthetic because it will help you with building something up but nonetheless you can make themes look however you want it to look 
an example of a theme that we have that I actually found that used this exact theme was this uh, website rmbjewelry.net which has a lot of different products available for sale as you can see they have a lot of different options they have a uh, their home page has a very well presentation you know it's very uh, intuitive um, and then there's an even simpler one one as you can see they made it very simple they made it more of a membership style so you you can make it as intricate as simple or as complicated as you want it to be at the end of the day it's really up to you don't get discouraged with how this looks right now guys you're gonna have to work on it and really and really put some content into it and don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and break some things in the process all right it's how we learn it's how we grow for instance one of my websites to start a brand asap i bought off a theme and i actually worked on it on myself on the back end so everything you guys see create the menus all of that so for the most part once you guys start editing it you'll see it's a little bit simpler than 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 what it what it seems to be but when you first get started it seems a little bit complicated so if you want to give it a shot, just use the links in the description and let's get to it. So there you have it guys. I hope this video was helpful in order for you to really gauge what it is you're getting yourself into when launching a WordPress site with an e-commerce option. Now for the most part, WordPress has historically been a blogging platform, which is the reason why it takes a little bit of extra steps and a little bit of moving around in order to launch your e-commerce site. But for the most part, there are literally thousands of themes available and I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go check out the theme store, which is also linked down below in my description. You guys could really truly create a website that, that looks and feels the way that you want it to without having to custom code anything or custom code very little things. So that's it guys, I hope this video was helpful. Please share it with a friend. Subscribe to the channel, like, comment down below if you have any questions. Let's continue on this journey together and let's make this a big successful win for everyone involved.